morning everybody welcome back to my kitchen chats today is thursday and we are currently in the middle of experiencing some freak nice weather in march which if you are from the uk you will know that is weird apparently it's the warmest march we've had in around 10 years i actually remember that hot march 10 years ago I was working in an office it was savage got a little matching like green ish vibe going on today but yeah very well timed because we can now have up to six people in our back gardens which i'm very excited to do on friday which means that i get to make the garden look really cute which i haven't really had the chance to do yet even since it was redone i get to do that for friday so i actually have a lot of work to do i am currently waiting on delivery of a pressure washer because i thought i'd invest in one rather than like renting one it just seemed between two houses seemed to be like the most financially sensible i bring all of those leaves because honestly i'm gonna have to go out there every single day over the summer the tree behind my house is just something else marshmallows for toasting well i'm waiting for my vegan marshmallows to be delivered everyone else is bringing their own marshmallows some cushion inserts and is that it i also need to go and like do a shop for tomorrow because obviously hosting It'd be nice to get some wine oh yeah and i have a zara home order to go through with you because i picked up a few new bits for like styling up the garden but also could be nice for like in my home as well when they're not in use in the garden i haven't even told you the best bit yet i did my garden over the weekend it was really like crummy weather but i made it look really cute basically like the flower bed that runs up the side which you guys will have maybe seen on my home account i did share a sneak peek of what it was like with all of the weeds there are no more weeds there are no more weeds and i planted loads of really cute things sorted out like my veg beds like everything is just looking tidier it's not like ready yet but it's tidier and it's looking cute there are like plants in the flower bed which they weren't really apart from some rhubarb before so it is a little bit windy out here today but i hope you can hear me this is how we are looking i still have a space which i need to find like the perfect like white flowering shrub of some kind to go in there things may be rejigged based on if they do well in certain places but it's looking good ryan got the cushions out for me this morning so that i can sort out this area up here the veg beds have been sorted i'm gonna go in now because it's so windy Ooh. i'm hoping the wind dies down a little bit before tomorrow because otherwise it's gonna be a little bit chilly but the early half of this week was just the nicest weather like no breeze nothing so i'm hoping today is just a little bit fluky but yeah that's how the garden is looking i'm really happy with all of the little like shrubs and bushes and trees and flowers i've got i actually got a magnolia tree which i planted as well don't tell me it's a bad idea because i've done it now i've committed yeah it's really cute i'm actually gonna show you because it's so sweet it's so small so this is my tiny little magnolia tree it's so cute it's so pretty on the inside so yeah these take a lot of time but they can get pretty big and i'm i'm here for it but yeah as you can see i've got a lot of sweeping to do i'm really excited actually to get the pressure washer out here okay are you ready firstly i did a little zara home order with a birthday gift voucher i was just like browsing late night browsing you know on zara home as i do and i did one order where i just picked up some new glassware and a vase with my birthday voucher from the girls and i picked up new wine glasses mine are actually from amazon but zara home have started doing them so if you want some they do them they are more expensive though than the set that i buy off amazon because you buy them i think singularly and it works out like a couple of pounds more expensive but i did only need an extra two i have a group of six girl mates and it just didn't sit right with me that i had a set of four wine glasses and then i also picked up just some little glasses that you could you know like have a glass of water in but i think they're such a cool shape like, I love them, like really minimal, but really classic, not too bougie, not too out there. I've got a lot of glass where it's really like out there, but these are just really beautiful and simple. And then I also picked up this vase. This is heavy. I'm not sure whether we want to call this a vase or a pot, whatever you want. That is so gorgeous. I love stuff like this, as you guys will know, because literally like this shelving is littered with stuff like this this is beautiful this with like some olive branches sticking out of it like some really long olive branches would just be absolutely stunning so this would look lovely on my island but also just like as a decorative piece throughout the house this would actually this would look really nice on the coffee table 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 the coffee table in the living room take everything else off the coffee table and just pop that 
in the middle that would be lovely and then i also did a separate order i picked up some new cushions to have on the garden sofas i'm not getting new furniture for the garden anytime soon like the garden furniture is absolutely fine it's holding up really well but i did want to get some new cushions for the sofa i thought that'd be really cute so like the normal cushions are staying but just like some additional cushions just to make it look really like cute and inviting so i picked up two of these like these look really great on camera but they're more of a like sagey green which i really like sage green but i don't like it through my home so much because everything is very white i prefer more of like a natural linen like this but i think in the garden it works perfectly and it's really nice to have like the linens running through my home and then also have them outside in the garden as well it just keeps that flow going really nicely so i picked up some plain like linen colored ones and then some linen in the sage so i picked those up and then i also picked up this i'm so excited about this i've not really seen anything like this i say that like we've all probably seen something like this before but i haven't seen a cushion cover in this size so it's like a larger longer cushion and i thought this would actually look so cool on my sofa when i'm not using it outdoors just like right in the middle of the sofa i thought it would be amazing but also would look so cool on the sofa outside and it's got this like lovely beachy texture to it and zara home do an insert for this as well so i picked that up so that's in a separate box i'm currently waiting for cushion inserts for these smaller cushions or cushion covers to arrive i picked some up off of amazon my favorite ones from ikea weren't in stock on amazon where i normally get them and the delivery from ikea was like four weeks so i picked some cushions up off of amazon and i'm hoping that i literally spent ages trying to find the perfect inserts that will be like choppable so that you can like mold them into your perfect shape so fingers crossed they're arriving soon so those are the bits i picked up to finish off the garden and get the house kind of a bit more spring ready i want to do fragrance as well and pick some diffusers to have throughout the house for spring but i'm not in as much of a time crunch to do that as i have been with the garden because obviously i just want it ready for when my friends come around but the inside i can do more in my own time i'm probably going to have a little browse of diffusers and make an order maybe tonight or tomorrow night i also think i want to like get maybe like a vase and some flowers and have those outside for tomorrow that'd be so cute like indoor outdoor kind of vibes that kind of space yeah i'm going whole hog i haven't hosted in so long and it's the first time i think i've had people in my garden when it's actually been like completely redone so i'm so excited to just host and it's gonna be cute hello i'm back whilst i'm waiting for the amazon man i thought i'd show you a few things that i picked up from zara it's just a little order but i've really been loving everything first up we have this bag which is a gorgeous like e-crew color it works really well when i'm wearing like neutrals but i don't want to wear a black bag and i don't want to wear a bag that has like a warmer tone if i want something quite cool tone this is so perfect so it looks quite white on camera but it kind of has like a whitey pink hue to it it's really really gorgeous i love the big chunky chain if you like the green one that i showed i think a few weeks back it's a little bit more oversized a little bit more practical for every day the color is really beautiful and will work with a lot more in your wardrobe than a bright green that being said i love the bright green we then also have the shoes i'm wearing as you can tell i actually have been like loving everything i ordered these shoes they're so gorgeous they're like a khaki grey braided like flip-flop sandal i love them they're so beautiful they work really well with the outfit i'm wearing today which also consists of another item from this zara order which is the trousers that i'm currently wearing this is the only item from the haul that i'm kind of like mm, i love it but i don't know if everyone else loves it i put these on my instagram and i was like guys help me out like what do you think so it's a button-up cami dress in this beautiful like very light green kind of grey tone it's definitely a green it is beautiful my only thing with it is that it could be a little bit more fitted around like the hip area to be like mega flattering but it really like is quite long and flows which i think some people will love and some people like me with my camis i'm used to them just being a little bit more just slightly more snug and this one isn't i'm just not sure it's a bit different so i can't tell if it's good that it's a bit different or bad different if that makes sense but i just love the button detail and the color it's just stunning it's got this like lovely loose razor back it's going to be really nice on warmer days because it would just give me that like breathability i got a size small and i got a size small in the trousers as well and both fit like a dream to be honest i don't think i would need to size down in this i don't think that's meant to be the vibe but yeah those are just some new spring pieces i picked up so cushions are here the cushion fillings this is the moment of truth Thank you. 
wish this pillow was fuller. I might have to do something about that. Do we like that look where it's like a little bit flatter because it's more like loungeable? I wouldn't say these are perfect. I actually like the fact that they, I kind of, I don't even chop them. I kind of wash them <laughs> on top. And I really like the slightly imperfect shape that it gives them. And I also do the sides as well. So they almost like go in a little bit here. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do, but that's what I have always done with these pillows and I really like it. So yeah, it'd be cute to do something similar with that one, let me know what you think about that. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is both the single best and worst thing ever. <laughs> Look at the difference. <laughs> the grout. <laughs> this is a literal before and after. I just wanted to give you an idea of the difference it can make in case you own your first home like me and have never used a pressure washer. I am, I, I am stunned. <laughs> This actually just looks amazing now. Obviously, leaves are back. Literally, I finished this two seconds ago. I've done all of the furniture as well, and I'm so excited to get styling this tomorrow morning. It's gonna be so good. Good evening, everybody. I have had a very productive day. Like, I've done so much, my brain feels like it's going to explode. So this evening is going to be my relaxing evening. Ryan is back at football, which is amazing because he's really happy because he's out with his friends playing football two nights a week now, which is amazing for me because it means that I get two evenings alone a week to put on a face mask because I have one right now because my face doesn't glow like this on its own. Cheers to lockdown easing up. I'm so happy. I'm gonna have the best evening. I'm gonna have a bath. I'm gonna eat this. This is like a vegan stuffed crust pizza. It's so good. Like I actually think I prefer it to any like takeout pizza. It's amazing. I'm gonna do some nice skincare. Just try and switch my brain off because I do feel like I've done so much today. I've actually been vlogging two vlogs, so my brain feels like it's going to explode. My car has also come back from its MOT and it is all great. I honestly, like, I, they were so nice. Like the guy dropped the car off and he was like, yeah, next MOT, which obviously isn't gonna be for like three years. He was like, if you ever want me to pick it up again on my way into work, I'm happy to do that for you. I was like, oh my God, you guys are just so nice. Like I didn't even ask them to do any of the like picking up. Like they just happened to have asked where I lived and they were like, oh, we've got someone that like lives like further out than you. So on their way in, they'll just come and pick up your car. And I was like, wait, what? This is a service. Like I'm happy with this service. So I cannot fault them for that I'm so so happy and like I got my lease car three years ago I pay for it myself full paying customer this is not vlog related in any way YouTube related like most of you don't care but just to be really clear I just love them I love them so much. So this evening I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Super Radiance Resurfacing Facial. I really like this. It's like an exfoliating mask and it's quite gentle really, but like effective at the same time. I felt like my skin has been a little bit congested and I haven't used it that much recently. So I thought I would just pop it on like 15 minutes whilst I was doing my dinner. I've been wearing a lot of makeup lately, so it's good to just exfoliate a little bit and make sure it's not all like trapped under the skin. I just find exfoliating really helps so that you don't get a lot of build, like build up. I've got the Sunday Riley oil as well, which I used this morning, which I love, which is also great for that. But the two together, like the mask and the oil, they work like a dream. But yeah, love that combo. Also, I just realized before I came in here that my car has also been washed. Absolute gold. I'm so happy. I, was, I looked out the window and I was like, it's so shiny. And then realized that there was no longer a blob of bird poo on the windscreen, which is amazing. So thank you, Aldi. Really appreciate that. Oh my God, I need to check if they've done the inside because if they have, I would cry with happiness. It's been a long time since I've been able to go and get my car cleaned.
Is this not an ideal solo night in dinner? I'm so excited I'm gonna eat this and watch some YouTube. Also, I know that we all probably knew that I would be, but I am so obsessed with these slippers. What do you think? Do you love them? Do you love them? Do you love me? Oh, you're so cute. I know you just want my dinner, but love you anyway. coffee has a very interesting look but it's a vibe I'm going with it Good morning everybody. So we are all set up. The sofa has, well the sofa cushions like these bits have 100% seen better days. I am going to look into whether I can wash them because they're looking a little grim so I'm going to stay back here. But the cushions just look gorgeous. They really just add to the space really nicely and just give it a much more inviting feel, like a much more comfy look. This is from Ikea. It has 100% seen better days. It's actually got like a hole around the other side which I have no idea how that's ended up that way. But yeah, it's looking cute. This fire pit is from Wayfair. The sofa is I think from Argos a few years ago. Home base do something very similar and I remember at the time they did the more affordable version that was exactly the same but it was just obviously out of stock because it was the cheaper but the same thing. My olive trees are from Rushfield's garden centre. I love these ones because they have like the spindly trunk, stem, whatever you want to call it. The chairs are from Amazon last spring this time last year if you just type in like rattan furniture so many things like this will come up but these were an absolute steal they were like 100 pounds each so 200 for a set of two love them so much and i really like how they've aged actually they were quite dark to begin with and now they're a much like lighter more grazy wash and it just works really nicely the table was also part of the set and then we have the little Zara home pot which I've popped some olive branches in which for anyone that is like outraged over this don't worry I won't do it often it's just literally for you guys I hope you enjoy this but yeah I'm loving how it looks really loving the cushions in this space they work so well they also look really beautiful in my living room as well so I'm super happy with them they're definitely not just going to be an outdoor thing but they do work really beautifully out here for now day today it's helping with my mood a little bit because my mood is not great this morning i actually did my first workout in a really long time this morning because i really felt like i needed some extra endorphins i needed that little bit of extra help and i think i have kind of got a little bit of a workout plan i've now set out for the next kind of month or so i'm going to see how it goes um just to get myself back into actually moving on a regular basis. I actually have a little something to unbox with you this morning. The kind of last leg of getting the house ready for spring has arrived and I'm really, really excited to unbox that. This area at the moment is just looking so lovely. This little pop of color is actually making me very, very happy. Ryan wanted to get me some flowers for Easter and he was like, they didn't have like neutral tones. I'm so sorry, but I'm actually really loving them. I love that pop of pink in <laughs> Sorry, some leaflets came through the door. How dare they? Hmm? You barking? But anyway, yeah, I'm really loving. Oh, when did you do that? <laughs> oh, this dog is so weird. But I love it. Anyway, I'm just loving the little pop of colour. It's making me very happy. It's doing good things for my mood as is the weather today. It's like blue skies but clouds here and there, but it's just nice. If it could just get a little bit warmer, 
I'd be very happy, which I think it is actually due to soon, which is amazing. It means I can plant my tomato seeds outside. I ruined the windowsill in here <laughs> last summer. So yeah, everything is being planted outside now. That is it. I won't be <laughs> arguing with on it. It's all going outside. So still haven't found my favorite pair of scissors, by the way, just in case anyone was concerned from my last vlog. Thank you for all the nice comments, by the way, on my last vlog. I don't really do like luxury unboxings anymore. So honestly, my mood last week, I was so anxious. <laughs> I was so nervous to put that video up and the whole time before I'd seen like the final edit I was like really scared and then I saw the final edit and I was like no actually I'm happy with this oh I actually did a much bigger order than I remember yeah I remember doing this yeah yeah I remember now this is not just a couple of diffusers so these are the diffusers I picked up they are the cow shed awake diffusers they smell so good I've been dying to get my hands on these for years and they are quite often completely out of stock. I found them on Look Fantastic. Their stock is actually really good on Look Fantastic, which is lovely because I thought I would go all out and update the bathroom situation. I was like, wouldn't it be nice if like my hand soaps and my candles and all of that just like went well together? So I've got an exfoliating hand wash because if you watched my videos at all before you'll know my preferred hand washes are like exfoliating scrubby ones and then I also got the uplifting bath and shower gel that's one of my favorite scents from them whenever we go to farmhouse they always have cow shed uh so nice like a little bit like lemony or orangey oh yeah bitter orange and grapefruit oh so I picked up a candle as well Oh my god, this immediately smells amazing as soon as I open the box. This is lemongrass, ginger, and rosemary. These are scents that are very much up my street. It is just incredible. Actually, this would make a really lovely kitchen candle. It is a very like foody scent. And then I also have, <laughs> I got one of these sprays. This is a deodorant spray. I use this actually. They always have tiny weeny mini ones when you stay at farmhouse. Or I think even if you go to like a cow shed spa, I think they kind of have these out on the side. They are so lovely. So it's a deodorant spray. So it's not like a aerosol and it's not a roll on, but it smells incredible. Very like minty, but it's maybe got some, oh yeah, peppermint spearmint and lemongrass so yeah i've got essential oils in it which i think are what give it the lovely scent but yeah i love that and then i also picked up the alcohol hand spray these hand sprays are so good they smell incredible i've definitely had a little treat myself moment i feel like i've had a real treat myself month and i'm kind of probably need to stop. yeah very excited for this to be the spring scent of my home i know that like the rules are easing up and in theory we're going to be spending less time at home but really I'm not. I am still going to be at home. I actually have no one. Like, I know some people are like, I can't wait to go shopping. I probably will go shopping, but you know, I could just, I could take it or leave it. You know, I'm not going to be rushing. I'm just going to do the one for now and see how much it feels to begin with. And then after like maybe a couple of weeks or a month, I'll then put the other one out so that it's not like too overwhelming to begin with. And then it's like nothing later on. I'm going to put this, I think, in my living room. So this is today's working from home outfit we have this top which some of you might remember me purchasing last sorry there's so much noise going on right now building work life you know anyway i've got this top which is like a knitted one that you might remember that i picked up from h&m last summer and then i've got these trousers which are i believe from river island petite via asos however petite girls don't get excited unless you own wonder or want to go out and buy it and want to take these up because honestly these were made for someone who i can only imagine god how much length was on it it was like an extra three or four inches i took it up by so no idea what petite girl these were made for but <laughs> wasn't me at five foot two labeled as for five foot three or under and i was like absolutely not i really liked the kind of fit and the drop of them so i just took them up they are basically just touching the floor because i'm not wearing a belt these like slip down quite far they're meant to be high-waisted but i could also wear them without a belt and wear just a tiny heel and they would be perfect so very happy with the length but i've also got my sunday luxe slippers on which you will have seen in the last vlog i unboxed a lot of stuff a lot of stuff i need to stop unboxing stuff that being said 
I have two very big Zara boxes currently in my bedroom, which I think I'm going to go through and uh, yeah, try and cheer myself up with that. So that will be coming very soon. But yeah, that is today's little working from home outfit. I'm just really enjoying like all black outfits at the moment with just like a tiny little bit of gold jewelry. I need to find a gold watch strap because the clashing is making me very sad. And annoyingly, they don't do this. I wish they did this strap with like an antique brass type strap or even just i'd take regular gold it's from amazon it's not that fancy i would take regular gold with the black because it would work so well with my outfits but that's the only version that they don't make they do so many different like colorways no black and gold also what do we think of my hair like this because i've done it differently today i don't know if you'll be able to to see that is my hair this is this is very skilled yeah i think i'm gonna leave this vlog here i really hope you guys have enjoyed this seeing me get ready for spring i am ready for spring now if the weather could just cooperate with the springiness because it is april it's not even like i'm being preemptive now it's april it is definitely spring i would like the weather to step up a little bit so fingers crossed that actually happens soon but yeah i hope you guys are having a lovely day and i'll see you guys again very very soon